Hola, Senor Jordan here. In this lesson, we're going to talk about reflexive verbs in the present perfect tense. The present perfect is a tense used to talk about things that have or haven't happened. Some examples are Me he dormido. Nos hemos ido. Te has enojado. To form the present perfect, we'll have two parts. First, the verb haber changed into the forms to say who or what has performed the action. Then the second part is called a past participle. This is what was done. For AR verbs, it is formed by taking the verb, removing the R, and adding DO. For ER and IR verbs, it is formed by removing the ER or IR and adding IDO. With reflexive verbs, we'll also have to put the reflexive pronouns before the verb phrase. Let's see how this works with the verb irse to say different people have gone away or left. Me he ido. Te has ido. Se ha ido. Nos hemos ido. Os habéis ido. Se han ido. Notice that the reflexive pronouns are all before the verb phrase. This is because, unlike the ing form, they have to go at the beginning and cannot be attached. And ido. is always the same, but what changes is the form of A ver. and the reflexive pronouns to say who has done the action. Now, let's see how the verb quedarse will change to say different people have stayed or remained. Me he quedado. Te has quedado. Se ha quedado. Nos hemos quedado. Os habéis quedado. Se han quedado. Notice again that the reflexive pronouns are all before the verb phrase. And quedado is always the same, but what changes is the form of a ver and the reflexive pronouns to say who has done the action. Now, let's see how the verb ponerse will change to say different people have put on or started to feel a certain way. Me he puesto. Te has puesto. Se ha puesto. Nos hemos puesto. Os habéis puesto. Se han puesto. Notice again that the reflexive pronouns are all before the verb phrase. And puesto is always the same, although it looks funny. You might remember this is because poner is actually an irregular verb in the present perfect and its past participle is puesto. What changes in all of these are the forms of haber and the reflexive pronouns to say who has done the action. Here's the formula with reflexive verbs in the present perfect one more time to review. And here are some common reflexive verbs with their past participles. Acordarse. Acordado. Acostarse. Acostado. Afeitarse. Afeitado. Bañarse. Bañado. Cepillarse. Cepillado. Despertarse. Despertado. Divertirse. Divertido. Ducharse. Duchado. Enojarse. Enojado. Irse. Ido. Lastimarse. Lastimado. Ponerse. Puesto. Quedarse. Quedado. Olvidarse. Olvidado. Sentirse. Sentido. Vestirse. Vestido. Now, let's see a few of them in context in full sentences. ¿Te has divertido mucho hoy? Él se ha lastimado la rodilla jugando al fútbol. ¿Ustedes se han olvidado de comprar un regalo? No me he acordado de apagar las luces esta noche. No nos hemos puesto chaquetas porque hace calor. Ellos se han ido a casa temprano. Juan se ha enojado con ella por no llamarle. ¿Te has sentido cansado últimamente? Me he puesto más feliz desde que me mudé. Nos hemos quedado en un hotel cerca de la playa. I hope you liked this video. If it was helpful, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with others who could benefit. Also, as an extra challenge, try to write a sentence in the comments section in the present perfect with a reflexive verb. Thanks for watching. Gracias.